possession. Right, under the desk is a box. If you uh, bring the box onto the desk. Now, read the card first and then show us the possession. I recently took a crash course in taxidermy. <laughs> By the end of which, I've managed to make this. <laughs> okay. Show us what this is. <laughs> Pop it onto the desk. <laughs> Team, where would you like to begin? What is it? I can't can see. We have it. A, can we have a proper look? That, Sheila, is what I call <laughs> mouse on a skateboard. <laughs> you like me to mouse, take it across? It? Please do. What's it made of? Made of mouse. <laughs> <laughs> With a little bit of skateboard. Oh no! <laughs> How was he killed? He looks like he was. <laughs> I should point out that he wasn't killed, he was found dead naturally. It's no. like he was found walking down a very small <laughs> alley. <laughs> Careful, took ages. Oh. OK, first of all, how long was this course? Uh, this is the first course. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, the course, uh, the course is... Uh, well, it, it takes place over about 16 uh, weeks, so four, four months. A crash course that's... <laughs> taxidermy, cra taxidermy takes years to perfect. But this but is a, a crash and, and how often did you go? It happens every week. Once a week. For 16 weeks. <laughs> That's not a crash course. It That's is. an evening class. No, not in, not in relation to the, the, the proper course to become a professional taxidermist. Well, that, that goes on for 25 years. years and you meet once every six months? That takes, that takes four years or until the animal dies. Can you...? <laughs> <laughs> How did you do that mouse? Uh, basically, we've, uh, I found a, a mouse. Where? It, it, uh, there, on the stair. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> I found the mouse uh, actually uh, in the cage which it was kept in because it was my child's pet. And it was but... skateboarding. No, he wasn't skateboarding. <laughs> my son was a skateboarder and that's why he wanted the mouse on the skateboard. What did you do with the mouse that you found? Well, uh, for the first thing I did was uh, I had to break the news to my son and I said, uh, your mouse is dead. <laughs> so that was that covered. Uh, and then he said, oh, I don't, want to, I don't want to lose him forever. And I said, in that case, it's the crash course at the taxi <laughs> <laughs> So, wait a minute, okay. the mouse dies. Correct. You have a conversation with your son. What are we going to do? Let's stuff him. I know, I'll learn. I won't get a professional Correct. animal stuffer. And that's because... <laughs> I'll learn to do it. You ring up the course. It's I like there happens to be a 16-week course no. <laughs> starting next week. <laughs> How many people... Were on the course. I would say there was 12, 14, something like that. 12. 12. There was 12. 12. 12, yes. Yeah, sorry, no, it was a, a disciples' convention. Talk, talk me <laughs> through them. What sort of people were they? It was Matthew, Mark, Luke. <laughs> oh, sorry, there was, uh, there was a guy called Thomas. He wasn't sure if he wanted to be there. Um, <laughs> Tell us what you do. Um, first, the first thing you've got to do is always check that the mouse is actually dead. <laughs> so, sorry, it's always a. <laughs> It's always, always a mouse. <laughs> this <laughs> course is just for mouse stuffers. <laughs> no, no one, no one had anything else they were to do. So everyone, they all twelve. You turn up, weird. sit down, get your mouse out. <laughs> <laughs> so it's, it's the, you've got to remember that it's an introductory course. There was one guy, so just one guy, Brian. A good entry. Turned levels. up with a giraffe. <laughs> he turned up and he went, you, you want the advanced course, mate? Because we can't do this in sixteen weeks. <laughs> Next door, the, the one that's got the, uh, you know, the, the Velux windows. <laughs> Stuff a giraffe if you've got Velux windows. That's the first thing you learn. <laughs> what did you do? Scoop the inside Thank out? Thank you. Someone finally interested in the art form. <laughs> first thing you've got to do is get rid of the inside of the mouse. How? How do you do that? How? Good question, sure. <laughs> you get a, a, a sharp blade and you make a, a, an incision from the back of the skull all the way down to the tail. So what happens when you make that when you make that incision down the down the spine? Down the spine, yeah. What happens? So there's, that, now I'm looking. I can only be described as a very very horrific pop up book <laughs> because <laughs> I opened it up <laughs> and it's not a pretty sight. I would describe, <laughs> describe it as sort of mouse spine like. <laughs> and it, I went, oh, like and the, and the fella said, first rule of stuff, get stuffed, taxidermy, crash course. <laughs> he said, this is the interesting bit, he went, it's never, ever open them from the back. <laughs> <laughs> I learned a lesson. I learned a lesson. You're going to learn a 
Jeremy, you've got to learn. You've got to learn. <laughs> so what did you do? Well, it means you got me needle and thread. So you stitched the I mouse back up. I had to stitch up. the mouse back up. Right. Get him back to how he was. Right. <laughs> Turn him over. Yeah. Slice down the middle. And then what did you do? You have to. Effectively, there's no, there's no easy way of saying it. I had to scrape out his insides. With what? With the, with the tools, the tools that they give you. <laughs> what sort of tool is it? Well, there's many, many tools. You know those weird things you get when you're trying to get the last bit of lobster out of the claw? Then it's like a little fork. It's got it wouldn't little... work with a giraffe, though, Oh, no, it? a giraffe. You just... <laughs> All you need for a giraffe is a spade and loads of bamboo. <laughs> <laughs> OK, so you scoop yeah. out... We, we learned that on day four. <laughs> What do you put back in to give him that healthy... You build individual fragments of bone shapes but out of metal and glue them all together. It takes, ooh, 15 weeks on a Thursday night. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think, David? It, 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 it sounds very plausible to me, but what is your team? <laughs> Sheila, what do you think? No, I think it's you a lie. You think it's a lie? I can't, I can't see why anyone wouldn't believe that. <laughs> Um, I, I don't think there's any level on which any of us <laughs> believe that. Um, they're saying it's a lie. Lee, yeah. is it the truth or is it a lie? Oh, I actually have to go through the thing of pressing the button. <laughs> <laughs> lie. <laughs>